Howdy howdy, it's your rootin' tootin' honky tonk boy combat wombat here. I am a big fan of Red Dead Redemption 2. It's one of my favorite games of all time, actually. It's on the list. It has one of the best stories I've played in a game. Arthur Morgan is my favorite protagonist in any video game, hands down. And the gameplay just really tickles my fancy. This is exactly why I've given the online portion of Red Dead a chance over the years. I've played it off and on, and that is only because I enjoy the base game of Red Dead 2. And for some reason, I hold out hope Rockstar will cobble together a fun and engaging experience in online one day. But I know Rockstar is incapable of making a fun and engaging online, like they do with their single players. It's less that they're incapable and more that they're unwilling. Because fun and engaging doesn't really make money in the long term in a live service game. A boring slog and grind where you're incentivized to skip it with real money makes a metric ass ton of ducats. Prime example, look at GTA Online. It's not fun. It's not designed to be fun. There are players who enjoy it, sure. But there are also people who enjoy cock and ball torture. GTA Online begs you to dump either your time or your money into it. People who play GTA Online are slaves to the grind, or they pay up. GTA Online makes money. That's all it does. It's a money printer. Red Dead Online tries to be one too, but it's nowhere near as profitable. Which is why Rockstar neglects it like a red-headed stepchild too. I've already made a video before going over the many problems with Red Dead Online, and everything I've said in that video still applies almost a year later. Nothing has changed. Well, one thing has changed since I made that video. They finally updated the fucking game. Yeah, the new Blood Money update just dropped, which promises to add what players, including myself, have begged for since the game came out. All the way back in 2018. Two years before the Rona struck. The ability to be an outlaw in a fucking game about outlaws in the wild west. You see, for the majority of Red Dead Online's lifetime as a video game, we have hunted animals. That's all there was to do for a long time. Then we hunted animals to sell as a trader, and we hunted, uh, people as a bounty hunter. Then we hunted for collectibles to sell to this bitch. Next we sold Moonshine, then we hunted animals again? Holy raccoon shit. Oh, oh no, this time you're sedating them and taking their blood samples to this crazy lesbian. Yeah, that's so different. Thank you, Rockstar. All this focus on being an animal killer person and a goddamn cum salesman and absolutely no ability to rob stagecoaches, trains, people, anything in a Wild West cowboy game. Really lame. Many people, including myself, have been yearning, fiending for an update where you can do all of those things. And finally, Rockstar announced it. Explore new criminal possibilities in Red Dead Online blood money, including robberies, shakedowns, and other lawless activities, each leading to the potential of greater rewards. Yeah, let's just get into those criminal possibilities, shall we? I'll walk you through this update as I experienced it, so you can feel the disappointment. So first, you go talk to this dumb bitch in Saint Denis. He tries to act cool because criminal guy, cool beans. And then he says the word. The organization that I represent has been using a unique system of exchange for our more sensitive business dealings. This we call Capitale. You're going to learn to hate this fucking word as much as I do. You will hear this word so many times that other words will cease to have meaning. After this dumbass cutscene, you visit a mission giver. I visited this Anthony Foreman wiener, but there's also Sean and this Joe guy. Fuck them. I went with Anthony at first. So I went to see him, and I guess I never met him before, so I had to watch the first cutscene when you meet him. Then he gave me a mission to intercept a stagecoach and kidnap some Roblox playing bitch. I was literally sitting there thinking, is this a part of the new DLC shit, or no? I hope not, because this really feels like a stranger mission. I genuinely didn't know. Turns out, 
it was a stranger mission. Those things we've been doing in the game since release. How lame, right? Silly me doing a stranger mission instead of the brand new crime content. So I went back to talk to him and was met with a small list of missions. This list here, this is the update. This is what we waited years for to finally be an outlaw. God fucking damn it. The one thing I've been saying about Rockstar adding crime to the game finally is that they can't do scripted missions that you just repeat over and over again. That is the one thing they can't do or the update will be shit and get boring in 10 minutes. We needed free roaming, random, spontaneous crimes you could do, just like in single player. You know, where you can rob anyone, stick up any stagecoach you see, and rob any passenger train. This provides far more fun and replayability to the game, because you, the player, are deciding what to rob, where to rob them, and how to pull it off and get away with it. Scripted missions don't provide that kind of fun. What does Rockstar choose? Scripted missions. You got seven total missions. A year of waiting with zero updates, by the way. A stagecoach robbery. A homestead robbery. And a camp robbery. I'm, I'm putting quotes around all of that. Then you have these three contracts that are three-parters. Then there's the big robbery of a train to steal an emerald. You can't do this big train heist until you get enough of this stupid new currency called... Capitale. Slap my badonkadonk! The NPCs in this update say Capital, Capitali, Capitalo more than I swear in my videos. Capitale, 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 Capitale. Frick off! Of course, we couldn't just do robberies and crime for money. No, 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 no. What are you, stupid? Rockstar had to invent yet another new currency to grind for because this is a fucking mobile game, apparently. So you want to do the train heist, right? Well, then imagine these robbery missions as a pull and you're a stripper's ass because you're going to be grinding for a long time. You get this capitale extremely slowly. It takes forever and it takes a lot of it to do the train robbery. At least 15 to do the lowest difficulty, which pays you a cool three lima beans and some pocket lint. You need 25 capitale to get the most money for your trouble. So be prepared to do these stupid ass missions about 100 times, or you can pay up gold to just get it immediately. Three gold gets you 10 capitale. Three gold doesn't sound like a lot, but it adds up, and as we know, getting gold takes ages of grinding. Rockstar found their way to incentivize paying up real money for gold. Good for them. If only the game that you were purchasing that gold with your hard-earned money for was any fun at all. Too bad it's not. Anyways, let me walk you through these new missions. The stagecoach robbery. You go to the Braithwaite stable, shoot like nine guys, Look at a piece of paper, ride to the stagecoach, kill the four people in it, and steal a stupid bag. Then you ride to a location to drop it off, and while you're doing that, you're chased by a bunch of dudes. Even though it makes no sense. Where did these fart sniffers come from? How do they know I attacked the stagecoach? You see, Rockstar has zero creativity with their mission design in online, and can't come up with anything outside of go to point A and shoot some dudes, then go to point B while being chased by dudes. Name a mission in this game where this doesn't happen. I'll wait. Spoiler alert, you can't. You won't find one. This brand new stagecoach robbery in this update, and the stranger mission where I kidnapped a dude from a stagecoach, felt the same. In both of these missions, I went to a stagecoach, shot people, grabbed a bag full of cock or a person, and got chased on the way back. The only difference between these two missions is that the stagecoach kidnapping stranger mission has been in the game since 2018. You want to hear the best part? This mission is the same every time you play it. Kill the Braithwaite bitches at the barn, read the paper, Ride to the stagecoach, which is always on the same exact road, shoot the same four people in it, deliver the bag to the same location. Real fun. You still can't rob stagecoaches in free roam. All they have in the back are cans of beans, because that's fun. 
You can't steal a stage and sell it to the fence like in single player. Nope! So if you want to rob stagecoaches and feel like an outlaw, you can't. Unless you want to do the same repetitive mission over and over. The camp robbery mission. You go to a camp, shoot some wieners, grab the bag, and ride to a location while being chased. It's the same camp every time. Riveting. The homestead robbery. You go to a house, shoot like eight dudes, take the doo-doo bag, take it to a location, and you bet your left ass cheek that every time you do this mission, it's the same house. Despite there being plenty of homesteads around the map, Rockstar could only manage to make a mission at one. A full year of zero updates for the game, by the way. Let that sink in. These missions are glorified stranger missions with a new coat of paint. But they're worse. You see, the stranger missions and even the bounty hunting missions get repetitive because you do end up getting sent to the same places eventually. But at least there is some randomness to it. It's random where you get sent every time, and the objective can even vary sometimes. There's some form of variation to prevent instant boredom. Not here! You will go to the exact same place, kill the same enemies, and deliver the same stupid fucking bag or wagon to the same place. Over and over and over. There are only three sets of these missions. There's a set of missions from Joe, Anthony, and Sean. If you've played through their missions once, which you will pretty quickly, you've seen everything. Oh, by the way, just, just a little shit nugget on top of this ass cake. You also get to sit through a 40 minute timer before you can do a mission again, even though they take like two minutes to do. Get fucked. I haven't done the train heist yet. Honestly, I can't be bothered. But I did look it up, and it's nothing special. It's probably the best part of the DLC, but it's still a scripted mission that plays out the same way every single time. What about the reward, though? Do these crimes pay good? A train heist where you steal an emerald? Gotta be a good moneymaker. No, bitch. Here's $9 for sticking up a stagecoach. I literally got $4 one time. And the train heist? You make around $100, maybe $150 for the higher difficulty. And before you say it, no. Sitting around waiting for the timer to hit 30 seconds doesn't make the pay much better. $20 to sit around for 20 minutes is shit. Rockstar seems to love to undermine the entire point of new updates. Why the fuck? When I do these shitty missions and the train robbery for two pesos, when I can sell a shipment as a trader and make $500, or sell collection items to this bitch for thousands of dollars, and I don't have to grind for stupid amounts of hours or pay gold for stupid fucking capitali. Most people will do these new missions because they're new. And I use the word new very loosely, but when they're bored of these in a couple of days because there's no variation, they'll be back to making moonshine and being a traitor. Rockstar, how did you fuck this DLC up? This was the easiest update on planet Earth. Just make it so you can rob NPCs at gunpoint, make stagecoaches actually have money and maybe a tiny nugget of gold in the back, and have patrols guarding them, have passenger trains go around the map that you have to pick off while they're secluded away from town and rob the passengers. This makes it so the players are planning how to pull these robberies off on their own, and they have to escape the law on their own. No scripted, boring mission shit. All of this is in single player. There is no reason why they couldn't put this in online with a year of time to do it in. These missions don't make you feel like an outlaw any more than the Stranger missions did. You're doing the same shit! If Rockstar wasn't fucking stupid, they would have also retroactively made the Bounty Hunter role more fun with this update. Bounty Hunters have had zero reason to go after players with bounties engaging in PvP. Why? Because no players ever get bounties. There's no reason to. There's no crime. This update could have solved that, giving players a reason to do something that would get them a high bounty. Well, guess what? In this update, you rarely ever deal with the law. Thus, no bounty is gained for the crimes you commit. Even when you do have the law on you, it's scripted and doesn't add to your bounty. So fuck bounty hunters getting a PvP experience, I guess. I think I've ranted enough about this. You get it. The update is liquid shit. Honestly, it's the worst one they've released. But that's just my opinion. I know for a fact 
plenty of you who may play Red Dead Online may find it fun, and that's fine. Just before any of you comment, If you hate the game, why do you play it? Look, be thankful for what we got. If you don't like the game, uninstall it, quit playing it, stop bitching about it. For one, I love Red Dead 2's gameplay, so I would love for online not to suck Smurf asshole. But it do. And for two, I don't play it. It's very rare that I do. I just figured I'd give this new update a chance to pull me back in. But Rockstar tripped and face-planted with the delivery on this highly requested update. So, I'm back to not really caring about the game at all. I'll probably go back to playing Teletubbies on PS1. Anyways, I just wanted to rant and bitch about this for fun, and because complaining is all I'm good at. Thanks for watching, and have a good one. A big ol' thanks to my Patreon supporters and channel members. You guys are kings. You should consider watching some of my other videos. Just click on one of these. You can't go wrong.